but if you guys could just give us a rundown of what your organization is and what it does for the community. Uh, well, the organization really got its, uh, uh, has its origin back in March of 2021. We as a nation had just uh, gone through our first year with a pandemic. There was a lot of ugly news and a lot of anxiety and a lot of stress uh, and a lot of separation happening there. And uh, uh, we were looking for something to counterbalance that, to put some good out there and give uh, folks an opportunity to come together in community. And so we stumbled onto the idea of what is referred to as a giving circle. And uh, it's an opportunity for folks to come together in a collaborative giving platform uh, where we um, raise money uh, to support nonprofit organizations that are doing some great work here in the Penobscot Valley region. Yeah, so the way it works is you have your 100 neighbors now, you're closer to 200 now, right? That's so correct. the name's a little yeah. bit old, yeah. but all, all 100 of you get together and you all agree that, uh, you know, once a fiscal quarter, you're going to, all of you donate $100 yeah. each to the organization that you guys choose. Right. Now, you guys have done some great impact with that work, you know, can you tell me how this has kind of impacted these organizations that you guys have given back to? Yeah. We... The organizations come from our membership. They nominate uh, their one favorite <clears throat> charity. And so uh, once we get those nominations, then we pick three. And uh, during the course of our meeting, we hear from each one of those organizations that have been chosen. At the end of uh, their 10-minute uh, presentations, then we give the membership an opportunity to vote on who they f uh, feel deserves that, that check that, that gets written to them. Uh, the one with the, the most votes becomes the one that we write the check to. Um, and it's really up to the membership as to who gets chosen, who gets nominated. So uh, really, it's, it's hearing from those nominated groups that makes all the difference for us. And with those charities, you guys aren't just picking anybody. It can't be some flash in the pan charity. They That's have to right. be well established before you guys to give all That's that right. money to. In order to be uh, considered uh, by 100 neighbors who care, uh, it, one, the charity has to be nominated by an active member. Two, they have to have held their 501c3 nonprofit status for a minimum of two years. They must be in good standing with the IRS and uh, their services must serve uh, the region of the Penobscot Valley. If they meet all those uh, criteria, they can go into our pool, mm -hmm. and then each uh, quarter uh, we randomly select three of them uh, to present. Uh, we hear feedback from our, our members. We restrict these presentations at our business meeting to 10 minutes each. Mm. Uh, so organizations must come in and be very precise and concise in presenting their mission to our members. Um, and we are told, again, by our membership, they appreciate that. We've held 11 meetings thus far. Um, and every meeting has been less than uh, an hour in length. And uh, we get right down to business. We also offer, prior to our quarterly meetings, um, a one-hour optional social mm -hmm. uh, yeah. where people can come together yeah. in community, have something to eat uh, at one of our very generous sponsors, and so celebrate some time with each other before we get into the actual business meeting itself. So. Uh, right. It looks like we're just about running out of time. So where can people find you guys if they want to get more information? Yeah, we have a website. It's uh, 100neighbors.org. Uh, you can go there. We have a uh, Facebook page, same same name. Um, really, that's the best best ways to get a hold of us. Um, and we welcome, very welcoming group, um, more of the merrier. Uh, <laughs> we tend to have, again, we have a lot of fun ahead of the, the meeting. And uh, I know people leave those meetings and just feel really good about what they've, what they've done. All right. So. Well, thank you for joining me today, You're gentlemen. Welcome. Thank you for having us. Let's check in with Devin Biggs for that forecast.